Hey guys, it's time to do a knife test on the new Sony Xperia X. So I made a lot of videos on this phone, speed test videos. I did a one week usage review, so which you can check out on my channel. So um, a lot of people wanted me to do some like durability type videos. So I'm gonna start off with the uh, with knife test, okay? So um, let's see how durable this phone is. If we have some nice knife fun here, nice knife fun. So you can see I have all these kitchen knives. Uh, we got different colors here. This one is blue. This one is orange with white dots. And this one is, I think this is brown, dark brown, and this is yellow. So we're going to start off with the with the yellow color, okay? So uh, you can see it's not responding to the knife. I mean, obviously, I don't have any protector or anything like that on the display. So um, also, I want to mention this thing here. So it, uh, this uh, phone has full metallic body but the sides are having a paint on it just like the LG G5 has a paint on its back so that's why uh, you need to make it so just to make it more shiny I think so if we just do a quick test here on the side okay so you can see it's pretty easy to get uh, scratches on this phone I don't know if you can see it but you can see the small scratches here if I do it you can see I'm not even applying that much force and this is kind of a worse part on Sony's you know and because this uh, paint thing is actually something that will be a problem for a lot of people if you drop it you're gonna have the paint off and it's gonna look bad uh, so if we try it on the back so on the back we also get these scratches I think you can see it through camera um, I think on the back we also do have a little bit of paint I don't know but yeah we are definitely seeing scratches easily here so uh, before getting the phone I had this uh, paint thing coming off I mean it was off before I got the phone so uh, yeah I mean uh, after my usage, after using this phone for like one week, I haven't seen getting uh, the paint getting off on any side. I didn't even uh, I didn't even dropped it for like not even once. So yeah, this was before getting the phone. So uh, but you can see uh, just a simple strike will cause this much damage. So uh, I think definitely with the glass phone, I think you don't have to worry about uh, the paint getting off. So that's a plus thing with the Galaxy S. 7 and the HTC 10 so yeah I mean it can get pretty dirty so you can just have some knife shots here come on focus so let's try it a little bit on the power button okay so yeah power button will not gonna get scratches but uh, side area will so uh, let's move towards the screen okay uh, so again <laughs> be very careful with the with the phone don't have the sharp things you know getting in contact with it because it's gonna cause a lot of problems so uh, let's check it out on the screen okay so the display does respond to the knife and let's have a quick fun here Okay, so I can't see any scratch. I think this one has Gorilla Glass 4, so it will be a little bit resistant, you know. But I definitely can't see any visible scratch, just a few spots. Okay, so let's use another knife, okay? So we're going to be using the blue one. Okay, so it's like dirty, I think. I don't know. It's just a permanent mark, so not a big deal there. I'm just gonna draw the pattern. And let's have some powerful strikes here. I have to be a little bit careful because I don't want to cut myself open. Oh no. Don't call anyone, please.
Okay, I think the display is definitely resistant. It's actually resistant compared to more resistant compared to the HTC 10. That's for sure because I have so many scratches on my HTC 10. I decided to do a knife test video on my HTC 10, but it already got so many scratches. That's why uh, I can't, you know, I canceled my plan to do that video. And I don't know how I got those scratches on the phone. I mean, I literally never dropped it. But you can see here, Sony is doing a great job. This is like the sharpest knife out of all these. So we're gonna use this one at the end. Uh, and let's try it out with this one, okay? This is also pretty sharp because I did the knife test of the Galaxy A series and this knife was able to break the phone. So yeah, it's like really, really sharp. Okay, so yeah, now I can see some lines on the display, but still, it's nothing serious. The touch is working fine, and nothing is really very visible, okay, so which is a nice thing. So I'm just going to launch uh, Fruit Ninja and do the traditional stuff with the sharpest knife we have and cut some fruit and have some fun okay so that this would be a little bit fun to do you know whoa this is actually not working okay it is working now classic we're gonna play the classic Gotta wire the bombs. Oops. Oh, shit. I mean, it's nice you can play uh, games with the knife, especially games like Fruit Ninja, so it's really fun. And obviously, I'm pretty sure that uh, the display will not crack. You might be able to get some scratches a little bit, but yeah, I mean, nothing too serious. But it's kind of hard to play, I mean, with the knife. Sometimes the knife won't respond. So let's take a look here at the display. So if we take a closer look, uh, definitely few marks and blemishes, but nothing too serious. It survived. But the bad thing is that the size and all that stuff, the paint thing, it will come off very easily. I mean, just a normal shot like this. Look at this. And that is going to stay there forever and ever and ever. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. And, yeah, please give it a thumbs up. Whoa. We have fly hair, but, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.